In this video, I'm gonna be walking with you through the four components of every viral social media post. This is applied to reels. This is applied to YouTube shorts. It's applied to YouTube videos. It's applied to blogs, ads, any piece of content that you're putting out there needs to have these four components in them. Before we get into today's content, if you could give me a subscribe, smash that subscribe button, that would be awesome. That allows me to create more content like this for coaches and clinicians that want to grow and scale online coaching companies. So the reason I put this together is that I had a client that went viral this past week. He gained, he had one of his reels that had 2.2 million views and it's actually still climbing. And when he did that, it went from 2000 subscribers to 24, maybe 25,000 by the time this is, I'm recording this, probably by the time you see it, it might be more. And I'm not saying that I helped him do this. This is something that he did on his own. But what I did do after he did that is I went through it and I dissected it. I dissected it. I looked at other performing videos that I had done well, that did well. I looked at some of his that did well. And I also looked at some that didn't do well of mine and his and some of the other clients that I support. And what I found is that the posts that did really well had these four components to every single piece of content. The first thing that every good post had was a hook. I'm sure you've seen these on social media and essentially what it is is that it gets you to stop scrolling. It gets you to stop scrolling and it's like catches your attention. And typically it, you lead with value. You start saying, hey, this is what you're gonna get from this piece of content. This is why you should, you should listen. Or it'll call the audience out. Hey, physical therapists and chiropractors, here's how to do this. They're like, whoa, it's in my face. But it, but it also gets me to stop. So we need to have some sort of quick, like three second, almost like, not gonna say blurb, but something that grabs your attention and pulls you into the content, right? Examples of this from a, a business coaching standpoint, which is what I do is like, hey, here's three ways to get more clients fast. Here's how to make a thousand dollars every single day. Stop posting every day. Right, those are three different examples of hooks, right? They're, they tell you immediately what the content that's coming is going to help you solve. That has to be there. If you start off your content with, so the first thing you need to do to do blue 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 is this, or hey guys, my name is Matt. I'm here to help. People are just, they don't, they don't care. It's not for them. So you have to talk to them and for the problem or the solution that they're looking for. Call it out immediately. That's step one. And honestly, I see step one done really well right now in the coaching space. I see a lot of people doing this well, but what I'm noticing is people are like, hooks, hooks, hooks. And they set the hook, right? So it's like, you know, like I'm fishing. You know, I've got, I've got a good piece of a bait on the, on the hook and it, it's getting set, but then the line snaps. And the reason for that is this, the part two, three, and four to follow are just of no, no substance. They're of no value. You can have an amazing hook, but if your content sucks or the lead up to the content sucks, people aren't gonna watch your video. It's not gonna get the views, it's not gonna get the engagement, it's not going to grow the same speed that something that has a lot of substance, value, and hooks in it. The same thing as something that has a lot of substance behind the hook, okay? So, step one, have a good hook. Step two is don't just get straight into the value. Build up some emotion, create some context, or tell a story before you start listing out how to do the thing. Okay, so if I let off with a hook of, hey, here's three way to get more clients, I wouldn't go, here's three way to get more clients. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. While that's a great piece of content, it's not capturing the attention and on creating curiosity or like building this desire. So what I've noticed, one of my clients who, who did well this week and went viral, he had a, right after it was like, if you wanna lose 20 pounds or by the start of the summer, watch this video. That was his hook, right? Then the second component of it was talking about how people do things wrong, okay? So there was a context or buildup of, everyone thinks that intermittent fasting is the way to lose 20 pounds, and it's just not. Here is the way that is, right? So he added a little context or he said, hey, this is what everyone else is doing and it's wrong. Here's what you should be doing. That tiny bit of delay where it could be five to 10 seconds of context after the hook, people want the answer, right? If you say, hey, here's three ways to get more clients online or here's three ways to lose 20 pounds by summer and then you go step one, 
you're not you're not capturing attention. What creates uh, virality or stuff to being shared is average view time. Hear me out. Average view time is what is going to increase the views you get. So if I do hook plus context or a short story or hey, this is what everyone's doing wrong. Now I have I've doubled I've doubled my length of view time before I presented, hey, step one, step two, step three. When Instagram or, or YouTube sees that, it's gonna start to share it and, and put it out into more people because the view time is higher. Part one, hook. Part two, context. Part three is the substance, is the value. And typically this is done by putting like anywhere from one to five points or like five, one to five steps to get the promise that you just shared, right? So if I'm going back to here's three ways to get more clients fast, here's way one. Way one, pick up your phone and text so-and-so. Way two, do this. Way three, do this. And the key to all of these points is that these points are done very short and succinct. They're not supposed to be really long and verbose and blah, blah, blah. Like you've already created interest in the hook, especially if it's a if it's a shorter form video, like a reel or a short. So we've got the hook, we've got the context and we, we go into those value points and it's boom, 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 right? There doesn't need to be time for sharing how each of those makes you feel. That's not the purpose of a short form content, especially. If you're doing long form, that's one thing, or if you're doing YouTube, you can. But ideally we, we want to be short and succinct because that creates virality because it's easy to digest and people will share it. So you're going to, you're going to do that for step three. You're going to in, insert points or steps one through five to get the promise that you made in the hook. Then the last part is part four and it's the call to action. So this, the, the call to action, there's a few ways it can go about. One of them can be go take the action from this video, right? So it could say, Hey, go do steps one today. And the next week, go do steps two and the next week do step three, right? Or the call to action can be, Hey, if you like today's content, follow me for more. Super simple, right? But we want more followers. Or it could be, if you like this, like this and send it to a friend or share this with a friend. Or it could be if you make a post that's around three easy ways to get clients, the call to action is if you want 97 other ways to get clients online, just comment 100 below or comment 97 below and I'll send you my guide that walks you through X, Y, and Z. That would be if I'm trying to generate leads and, and book calls, etc. Always having a call to action is better than just finishing your three to, or one to three value points and just being done. So if you can have all four of those in a social media post, your posts are gonna do better. You're gonna get in front of more people. You're, they're gonna see, people will see your content. People will share your content. People will resonate with it. So follow those four steps. Hook, build up, which or context, right? Little mini story. Value points, one through four, or one through five value points. And then having a call to action. If you can do each of those, I guarantee your content's gonna be viewed more and it's gonna get more shares and virality. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Again, it helps me impact more people and share more of these thoughts and ideas with you. <laughs> All right, until next time.